Downtown Anniston is sweet on Mom for Mother's Day. This week, Spirit of Anniston merchants are giving you a free box of Russell Stover candy with every Mother's Day purchase. So come on down and shop downtown Anniston for special prices, two-hour free parking, friendly courteous service, and this week, a free box of Russell Stover candy with each Mother's Day purchase. Plus, be sure to register for the Calhoun County $500. You may be the lucky winner of $500 cash. Downtown Anniston, Northeast Alabama's largest shopping center. For Mother's Day, shop Hudson's Downtown Aniston and receive two gifts for the price of one. That's right, this week with any fragrance purchase of $35 or more, you'll receive this International Silver Keepsake Box free. Shop any of Hudson's fabulous cosmetic lines. Estee Lauder, Clinique, Ultima II, Germain Montiel, Elizabeth Arden, or Fashion Fair. And get this International Silver Box free. Two gifts for the price of one. Shop the store that offers more. Hudson's Downtown Aniston. It's fun and sun week at Hudson's downtown Aniston. Every day, something is specially priced to help you have fun in the sun. Hudson's now has special discounts on most all our summer merchandise. Save big and plan now to take advantage of these special prices, whether you're regular, junior, plus, or petite. Hudson's has the clothes to make you look great and have fun in the sun. So shop the store that offers more. Hudson's downtown Aniston. At last I have control of your TV set. Are you receiving me?
Hooters, 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 Hooters. Being a studio camera operator requires total concentration. I feel honored that this great responsibility has been given to me. I moved here from New York and at first the South was a little strange. Now I like it here and it really feels like home sometimes. Working at Channel 40 allows me to have a real press credential. It really helps when it comes to picking up babes. Steve Goodman, part of TV40's Homely Team. People you know, people you're not sure about. TV40 production. Hey, it beats unemployment. All right, let me, here's the tag. I'm making this up as I go along. Three, two, one. The Liberty Records show, certainly a fan's favorite this week at Fanfare, of course. We'll be coming at you. Three, two, one. The it was too late. She's coming up. Three, two, one. The Liberty, <laughs> Liberty, three, two. Mr. Short. Mr. Shorty Pants. Four days. Line for hours and hours and hours for the opportunity to have their autographs. Oh, there's a babe, Jacqueline Smith. We've driven thousands and thousands of miles and standed in stand. Three, two. One of the worst movies I've ever seen. Really Lethal though. Weapon 3. Oh, <laughs> it will be. Hey! And it just goes to show how much popular Three, two, two, one. So certainly the artist, three, two, one. Would we want you back, though? Right, Deb? I know I might be the one standing at the window yeah. going. <laughs> <laughs> and then they'll call the cops like they did with everything. Join us tomorrow. We'll have a report on the Superman comic book on Charles Aniston. That's what they wanted. Plus a car that can talk. Plus a car that can talk. You don't want to wake up the kids, phone the neighbors, and set the VCR for that one. Good night, everyone. Good night. See ya. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for joining us this evening. About a year ago, a lot of you will probably remember that I stood before many of you at the Holiday Inn in Oxford, and I told you about the bloopers that tend to get away from us every now and then. Sometimes somebody either shoots a really funny stand-up out in the field, and then they conveniently or accidentally record over the stand-up, or else they just won't happen to have a tape rolling during a particularly funny newscast. So I managed to lasso in at least one or two bloopers I know of that got away from us, but I really think we need to mention at this point. We start with one that Kim Chapman was a good enough sport to share with me herself. It happened one afternoon during First News at 5. Somebody in the control room instructed her to move a little closer to Bill on the set, so she did that. Unfortunately, they took her camera right when she was doing that, and she was pretty much go-karting right into Bill at the time. Very embarrassing moment for Kim, but she chose to share that with us. Next comes another incident from First News at 5. This time, Diana Dahl was filling in one afternoon. She read a really funny story about um, a university somewhere here in the South who apparently took the other school's mascot, or at least um, a similar mascot, a bull, and, and to symbol the, uh, symbolize the upcoming game between the two schools, they castrated the bull. Well, it's a very heroic effort for any news anchor to get through that without cracking up, and sure enough, Dinah did not, nor did she get through the rest of the newscast without cracking up either. Too bad we didn't have a tape rolling on that one. 
Diane also figures in one of my personal favorites. It happened during a commercial break, and this is not really one that's anybody's fault. It just sort of happened. Now, what exactly happened was we had back-to-back -back commercials, uh, a promo and a commercial. The commercial was for a 900 love line, and it ended with a woman who apparently was not wearing anything up here, just, just holding arms like this, saying, call me, I'm waiting. The very next thing you saw was Diana, Diana Dahl picking up the telephone and saying, TV 40 News, Gadsden Bureau. Diana was very embarrassed about that, even though she didn't do anything. Now, we have another story um, that happened when Anderson Williams made his weather anchoring debut over here. That was the day, and nobody can quite figure out why those maps suddenly started rolling, but they did. And as soon as I find that tape, it's somewhere here in this building. I intend to show it to you at the next blooper reel. Now, we go back a few years for this next one. This comes sometime in the late 70s or early 80s. I'm told it's when Phil was doing a newscast, and his son Casey, who was a very small child at the time, leaned against what was apparently a very cheap set that was in use at the time and caused it to collapse while Phil was sitting there with his scripts, some of which were on the desk. Apparently made a very large commotion in the studio, and Phil jumped back just a little bit. I'd love for the Museum of Broadcasting to come up with that one. Well, that's all the ones we know about so far, the ones that have been made aware of us, but be afraid because even if it gets away, it's not going to go very far. I'm Dixon Hayes. I hope you enjoy the tape that I and Perkins Wofford, my good buddy over in the control room, put together for you this evening. In the meantime, enjoy your meal and have a wonderful evening. Thanks, Bill. The Weaver Bearcats. Yeah. Uh, my chair just dropped there. <laughs> now, because, because I get because right? I give you a zero, right? Everything everything's falling. Bearcats. Uh, Bearcats. Uh, Bearcats. Uh, my... I'm Dixon Hayes. I'm on in the morning. Got a tornado. I'll give you a warning. Edward County is my beat. I also do the movie, so save me a seat. And even though we can't always completely pre damn. <laughs> And even though you can't always completely prevent a car thief, it doesn't take a lot to thwart. Jeez, I had it a minute ago. Damn. And even though it doesn't always take a lot to... Ah, oh, hell, there's a spider building a web on my camera. I'm Connie Hancock. Hey, by the way, we're live at noon. Join us every day with news and weather and guests that are willing to speak their mind. They're cool. We're chilling. Would you like to catch a bath or <laughs> catch a bath? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Kim Chapman, still at five, giving you the news that ain't no job. News reporting is what I do. You better watch out. I got my arm. Three, two. <laughs> what? Three, I got three, two. I'm going to be serious about this now. Three, two, one. You're damn pissed, okay? <laughs> The students at Jack State of Pest. No. Three, two, one. Education students at JSU are angry. I'm Kim Chapman. I'll tell you why. I hate these things. Hot oh, damn. I'm Barry Schultz. I'm quiet, a guy. The 40 News camera is my eye. I shoot the news behind the scenes and bring it to your TV screens. <laughs> I'm Paul Ed Miller, I'm down with you, and Anderson Winston in Talladega too. I bring you the news if it's really hot. You might even see me in L.A. Not. Oh, purple mountain majesty, 
upon the fruited plain of man. <laughs> I'm there for Daniel on the 6 and 10, and I tell you where it happened, and I tell you when. I tell you about the murder, corruption, and greed, and I tell you about the people and what they need. There's another big Alabama fan here, Commissioner Donald. Two more, wait a minute, three, two, one. There's another big, boy, I'm going to have to walk slow, shit. You have to move. I'm the weatherman, I'm Ted Kelly. Let me tell you about the weather today. The sun may shine, but it might rain. I don't know. Look out your window pane. Yes, 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 yes. By the way, uh, you mentioned the, about the... Well, that's a trigger hickey, right? Yeah, Dr. Bob those. Lanier. Yeah. Or it might be... It's kind of weather-related. Those of you who spend a lot of time out in the sun have to be careful about little spots. A little that, minor you know, surgery, right? Yes, a little minor surgery. I only have six months to go, but... So listen to this forecast, please. <laughs> 69 no, degrees. No, 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 that's right. I'll be around longer. Yeah. If, if I get a pay raise. Long as dirt. Yes. <laughs> so you do want to talk about that? Yeah, we'll talk about it. Very Not on your head? head? Yeah, being in the sun, you know, too long. What, did the roof of the AccuVan fall in? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> I might struggle to figure all the scores, muscle shows, down the Gulf Shores, high school, college, national team, TV for the sports, working hard for you. I'm not taking this lying down, okay? Put it on, put the hat on. I would have. This is I a, would have. Well, I guess I'll have to go get some shots after this. I don't know. <laughs> What a good sport. Where's all the CBS, you know, the fun. The drama, the news, and all the fun. The sitcom special, the sports, the lore. CBS always gives you both. The TV voting, your local station. The CBS number one in the nation. For the local news, we're the only one. We're working hard for you, but we're having fun. And it is very important because an advertiser uh, has just so much money to spend. Check a new top 25 poll and uh, change at the top, huh? You're exactly right. The Kings have it all to themselves in the Associated Press top 25 poll. Any other changes? Uh, There's a well, few here yes, and there, right? Yes, there'll be some. Okay. So uh, we'll just run it down. Hey, Monday afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. The latest Associated Press top 25 college football poll is out. Here it is for you. The Miami Hurricanes alone this week at number one after being tied with Washington last week with 32 first place votes for the Canes. 29 first place votes for the Washington Huskies. Michigan is still at number three. Alabama is fourth, still getting that lone first place vote. The flag was written in 1921 when the city created the banner to celebrate its 50th anniversary. Part of the description in brochures, I'm, I don't know what their pictures was, refers to the white of the flag as being symbolic of the purity of Birmingham's women. The God! Oh, what the hell was that? Oh. God. There's something wrong with that thing. God. Ah. Betty, do you see the blood coming out of my eardrum yet? God. I, it, it was in here is where it was, Betty. It was, um, apparently there was a short in one of the two things where you plug in your ear jack. Um, plug in my earpiece and it just, God. It's like somebody r stuck their hand in my ear and ripped out the damn eardrum is what it's like. God, whoo. Good morning, I'm Dixon Hayes. Thank you for joining us. In honor of Halloween, a gory scene involving a man's eardrum being pulled out of his ear. That's coming up in just a couple of moments. But first, we have 56 degrees in Aniston and 52 in Gadsden under partly cloudy skies. Oh, jeez, I don't know how that happened. God. The ruling puts $25 million back into the budget for special projects, but school officials say it will not help in their fight against proration. Cutting out all travel, we're cutting out all field trips, we're cutting out anything that requires, uh, uh, we just have to borrow to get through the year. 
And then pray for a miracle. That was not the uh, the right videotape that should be playing. We will be uh, we will get that back to you as soon as we can. More on that in a few moments. Farrah Fawcett and Ryan O'Neill join Arsenio Hall tonight at 10.30 following the 10 o'clock report. Right here on TV40's all-new late-night lineup. What? You'll love McDonald's Happy Meal for its special low price. I like the... Now, from Northeast Alabama's leading local TV news source, this is TV40 News, the morning report. Gray's in Gadsden under cloudy skies. It wouldn't be a holiday without technical difficulties. A United Way bookkeeper is charged with a theft. Aniston police arrested 40-year-old Harriet Ballard yesterday on charges of first-degree theft. Now our forecast for Aniston, Gadsden, and the surrounding area for today calls for mostly cloudy, a 40% chance of thunderstorms. Something about this newscast you can hear. We just want to talk, just talk to you well, for a minute. Same report, I can oh, he's young. He's all right. He didn't hurt himself. Oh, Watching television with the volume too loud was hazardous to an Ohio woman's health. Police say 82-year-old Leroy Visnow asked his 72-year-old wife Mary to turn down the television. Well, instead, she refused and hit him with a shoe. Reports say Mr. Visnow strangled his wife. <laughs> it's a strange story. And then tried to commit suicide by hitting himself in the head with a hammer. The 82-year-old man is in jail tonight. Excuse me. He is in jail tonight charged with murder. Not a funny That's ending not, to the but story, I can't but, help but laugh a humorous that. and amusing story just the same. Turn into weather, thankfully. We may be in the early stages of spring, but things certainly feel more like winter. <laughs> Dr. Ted K says we'll see sub-freezing temperatures by morning. It's forecast, isn't it? You have to read it, Dr. Ted. Here it is. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> Watching TV with a bow and do not have the wise. Turn down TV and stitch you into the shoe. Uh -huh, that's right. That's right. Then try to commit suicide by himself with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lordy. Oh, man. Woo! Are the graphics up there? I yes, sir. <laughs> okay, this will be B stand on TV. Well, the weather out of Talladega has certainly been nice for the race, but for some of the vendors like these... <laughs> what can I say? My first day on the day. We'll try it again this time. Oh, how spectators. That would have been the one. The busiest holiday shopping times, that's one of the reasons the union chose today to hand out the leaflets. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we're rolling. Three, two. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, we're rolling. We're rolling. I roll I start us. Three, two, one. <laughs> they weren't here a second ago. Three, two, one. But <laughs> Should we throw in PSAs or what should we do? I've only got two sports stories. Got a weekend to look forward to. What kind yes. of weather can we expect? This is going to be a very... Is my weather interrupting you two over there? <laughs> no. uh, I just <laughs> want to know. There they are having a nice little conversation. Just wondering if the weather is interrupting you. can tell Ted's a teacher. <laughs> yeah. That's the way it is in the classroom. <laughs> nice weekend. It's going to be a very nice weekend. Hey, how much do you do? Hello, little mom. <laughs> Uh, how goofy did that look? 
Eleven newly elected members of the U.S. Senate are beginning a two-day orientation session. They're getting acquainted with each other and with the rules of the chamber. Majority Leader George Mitchell joined them for freshman class pictures today in the Capitol. The new kids on the Hill are getting briefings about legislative procedures, ethnics, or ethics, we should say, financial reporting requirements, and fair employment practices. Two young men, attractive, able, ambitious, imaginative, compassionate alcoholics. Workaholics. <laughs> Whoever wrote that spelled it wrong, put an E somewhere. My final question. Is that a good answer? Yeah. The, uh, the reason you're having to do this, if you could in, in detail tell us about... Rick reason... Nyman yes. is a scum-sucking pig. And if you could go into detail about some of the scum he has sucked. Um... <laughs> Him not running for a second term. You will run it. <laughs> Him not running. And we'll even let you read your prepared. We'll even let With more adults getting involved in Halloween this year, it'd be interesting to find out what the most popular costumes are. Let's take a look. Ah, uh, my leg got caught in the door. Thank you! <laughs> Jeez. And like I said, I know you're doing a job, but I am no because that, uh, I think that's a real unfair thing to do. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, thank you. Wasn't that interesting? The air is gone. If it's going to be anything, it needs to be cold. I've never been in a studio yet. Well, you sweat. That, where it's not cold. Every studio I've, I've ever been in is freezing cold, and that's mm -hmm. the way it ought to be. Because as soon as you turn on those lights, it's not cold anymore. Oh. I, I'm sweating. My, my, my hair is wet. It's so hot. Well, it ain't broke. Well, I want to mention how hot it is in the studio. So people so John? I want to mention it on the air. It's either that or people are going to start calling wondering if I'm, if I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> <coughs> but I do wish I could forget I ever saw this fam. From the squinting room. You forgot his name. <laughs> no, I didn't forget my name. I just started, I just started to say the wrong consonant. <laughs> Oh, you know, I didn't get much sleep last night. Mm. <laughs> you leave your wife alone. <laughs> hey, hey, it wasn't that. Working on another one. <laughs> it wasn't that. It can be seen easily, plus you wouldn't have to worry about the ship being hit by other boats, whatever the hell they are. None of these are any good. Tell me some, what are some of the problems that you run into on the 4th of July? Fourth of July is normally our busiest week of the whole year. The boat traffic has... <laughs> oh. Look here. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> well. We didn't pull you away from anything, did we? <laughs> if you need to go back out, we can... If you want we can to finish do the five-day fourth. What are we doing? Now, there's a graphic up there. Join us tomorrow. We'll have a report on the Superman comic book on Charles <laughs> and Aniston. That's what they wanted to do. Plus a car that can talk. Plus a car that can talk. You don't want to wake up the kids, phone the neighbors, and set the VCR for that one. Good night, everyone. Good night. See ya. Mr. and Mrs. Santa are also a part of the Victorian Christmas in Aniston. See them every Saturday until Christmas.